Hi, I'm Sean Hallen. I'm an application engineer for ATI's Mechanical Products Division. A large part of my job involves product selection, technical support, and helping customers source what they need to get their robots tool changing safely. Today's topic is the CV14 control module, which is used to safely control the locking and unlocking of your tool changer. The easy to integrate CV14 is sized for smaller robotic applications with payloads under 165 kilograms. The CV14 is compatible with ATI tool changer models ranging from the QC29 through the QC110. The most notable safety feature is the integrated safety switch. The CV14 gives users confidence that tool changes will exclusively occur in the tool stand, and it virtually eliminates hazards from a drop tool. Why is safety important for light duty applications? Well, the importance of safety is often overlooked in smaller applications. Due to the use of fences, light curtains, and lightweight parts, it seems unlikely for an operator to sustain injury. Though risk factors may appear to be reduced for lighter duty applications, they are still present, but fortunately, technology can help further mitigate this risk. During preventative and general maintenance, the last thing a technician wants to worry about is accidentally hitting a button that unlocks a tool changer, drops the tool, and causes more downtime, or worse, a safety incident. This is not a concern with the CV14 and its built-in safety switch. The unlatched signal cannot activate the integrated valve unless the safety switch is triggered. Because the trigger for the safety switch is housed within the tool stand, there's no way to accidentally drop that tool in any other place than the designated tool stand. Let's look at some of the other unique and helpful features of the CV14. The CV14 control module incorporates I.O. to allow communication between the robot and the end of arm tools. Tool ID to verify that the correct tool has been picked. Lock and unlock sensor cables to confirm lock status of the tool changer and an integrated valve, which minimizes equipment needs and makes integration easier. And there are also LEDs, which enable visual process verification. You can avoid the hassle of finding a valve, tube fittings, sensor termination, and tool changer control, because that's all included. How does the CV14 make my life easier? Well, if you want your robot to have the ability to change tools, you will also need to source and connect all of the following pieces a control valve, a bracket, and a location to mount that valve, cable to the valve, tubing from that valve to the tool changer, management of that tubing, tube fittings, safety logic, and sensors or switches associated with safety, management of the tool changer's lock and unlock sensor wires, and an additional module for I.O. and or tool ID. Even if you've done this a time or two and are used to sourcing all of those components, it still takes time to place orders with multiple vendors, receive and unbox all of those parts, and keep track of all of it until you're ready to use. The CV14 eliminates this inconvenience by incorporating that entire list into a single package. This greatly reduces the time and effort that it takes to implement a tool changing application. All you'll need with the CV14 is one control cable and one pneumatic hose. So here are the main takeaways. The CV14 simplifies integration and saves time and effort. It features built-in safety. It decreases your application footprint and it can be integrated into almost any tool changer application. We've been utilizing integrated control technology within our heavy duty product family with great success. We saw a need for a complete control module solution with advanced features for robots under 300 kilograms. The CB14 offers all of that and more. For more information, please refer to the ATI website. Good night.